Discipline is that constant awareness from need of action. Your discipline is determined by your vision, and your vision is the painted picture of your future in your mind. And as far as I know, life is filled with uh, opposites. So, meaning life is filled with good and bad, with light and darkness. So the absence of light gives place to darkness. The absence of freedom gives place to slavery. And the absence of good gives place to evil. So taking advantage of the good side is very important. The absence of activity gives place to ease. We should know that success depends on your discipline. And remember, success is that fact of taking small advantage of good discipline. It does more advantage that we accumulate through the years, through the month, and over a certain period of a certain amount of years then we see the results as success and failure usually is not that big event as failure failure is accumulation of uh, negligence of ignorance of inactivities of ease of procrastination so this bad habits and decision accumulated over a certain period of time over two years, five years, ten years, becomes what we call failure. And as I said, this comes from Mad Maro actually. So, your discipline is determined by your vision. When you have a clear vision, you know, you have clear understanding of what you need to do. You have clear understanding what, where you want to go, you know. So vision as the painted picture of your future which you have in your mind. So for one to remember what you need to do, I think it's very important to write down. What do I want for my future? Where do I want to go? When am I getting there? Thus written down, it's very important to check what actions need to be taken remember that you can't ask for the roadmap to toronto if you don't want to go to toronto so it's very important to list down what you want to be where you want to go to design our future and i can tell you you might write these good ideas you know but as long as you haven't acted on them nothing will happen nothing will happen that's why you, you need discipline as i said discipline is that constant awareness from need of action and you might also start to do what you need to do that's very encouraging that's a very good thing but you should not stop from the first sign of defeat you should not give up from the first sign of defeat. I think most of us, we stop from the first sign of defeat. Then we stop. You should not do that. You know, because winners do not quit. And quitters never win. Never win. Through my life, I've realized that we are good starters but we are not good finishers we are poor finishers and uh, this is where the poem starts you need to persevere you need to be so excited of what you see at the other uh, side of the edge that nothing will stop you nothing will make you give up until you see the results until your ideas become reality 
you know this is very important this is very important and this is accomplished through discipline one author said that we are to feel one of these pains the pain of regret or the pain of discipline discipline can be painful through the process because you have to do this you have to do that you have to do this because we realize that the body is so lazy and this pushing also the mind to be lazy but your will your will can be stronger than your mind stronger than your body and thus can push you to do something so discipline can be painful to the body this thing might also be painful to your mind but your will your will to make this happen your will to see the end result this is what can push you to accomplish that so despite the pain of discipline make your will be stronger than any of these any of your weaknesses any of the pain that you feel through discipline i know it's not easy life was not meant to be easy actually nothing is easy we should know that we don't get what we desire in life we get what we work for we get what we deserve we always get back what we put in ask a farmer he will tell you he will tell you ask the builder he will tell you but for you to see this beautiful building that you see here we suffered we work on daily basics we work during the night we didn't have enough time for our families not enough time for ourselves we did what we could that's why you see this building to be so beautiful we sweated for it so this is how it is i once say that behind every beauty lies a mystery there always is a mystery behind every beauty there always is a mystery as well behind every accomplishment so if we should be captured by the history behind the accomplishment we should be captured by the mystery behind the beauty you know interested people you know look at the surface and people are passionate look at the cause the behind the scene this is so important this is so important you need to be fascinated you need to be passionate you need to know the process the overall of it from the beginning to the end so don't be a poor finisher no matter how tough it is no matter how difficult it is remember you need to feel the pain of discipline and you need to gain this through the process you need to gain confidence and means through the process because when you do something and then realize that it's well done tomorrow you do another thing and realize that it's well done keep on doing something better every day so every time you step out be better than yesterday be bigger than yesterday be stronger than yesterday be stronger than the past and you're gonna see that the reward will worth it to worth it never been easy for anybody to do what they have to do never been for easy for anybody to accomplish what you see them accomplishing so i would say that we just need to tough up we just need to realize that we need to do our best we need to do our best because once we stop once we give up the other part just comes from nowhere i can tell you light never fight darkness but in the presence of light darkness flees evil is no match for good but where there is good evil will never be as well as wherever good is inactive evil will take over evil will take over wherever activity is inactive ease will take over that is the beginning of poverty 
That is the beginning of suffering. That is the beginning of illness. It comes from this. It comes from this. So if you don't exercise, I can tell you, give yourself five years, you're going to see. If you don't eat that well, if you don't eat uh, uh, nutritive things, if you don't have a healthy eating habit, give yourself 10 years, you're going to see what your body will be like. You're going to see what your health will be like. So those things need to be watched out. It's very important. The essence of life is happiness. But nothing is for free. Nothing is for free. Nothing is for free. Besides breathing. The rest. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. The rest is not for free. The rest is not for free. You need to work for it. You need to work for it. You need to deserve it. Look, I can tell you. Think whatever you want to think. Believe whatever you want to believe. But I'm telling you, you need to deserve it. You need to deserve it. That's how life is about. At the other end, I will say this. Listen to me. But it's up to you to take it to love it. The best place to start is reality. Start with reality. As you grow, you're going to get to mental part. As you grow, you're going to go get to the spiritual part. As you grow, you're going to move from survival to stability. From stability to success. From success to significance. That's when you understand. So it was a pleasure of mine sharing this video with you. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you're going to enjoy it for now on as you take care of yourself and see you on the next video. So please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. So bye.